everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video was a long awaited video i think yeah i'm pretty sure considering this is part 4 to that series i know you guys love such videos which is why i want to make more of these so this is of course productivity hacks part 4 if you haven't watched the previous parts i highly suggest you do so because trust me i was going over those videos again just to make sure i don't overlap any hacks in this video and oh my god i need to reconnect with few of those hacks i think you really benefit if you watch those videos i will put a playlist up here hacks are supposed to be easy quick no hassle whatsoever and they might seem overly simple at times but sometimes these are the things that we tend to overlook so yeah i hope you find this video useful if you do please do not forget to leave a big big thumbs up after watching this video and with that let's get into hack number 1 and that is find your timing basically you need to find in which particular time block of that day are you naturally most productive and effective because of course a huge part of productivity is time management you need to find these pockets of time throughout your day where you feel you are naturally most productive and then capitalize that to schedule out your routine and how you can go about this is to simply assign three important tasks one for the morning one for the afternoon and one for the evening and then at the end of the day just reflect as to which particular time period were you most effective for a lot of us it could also be a misconception where probably you've been calling yourself a night owl for the longest time of your life when you do this particular exercise you realize that you were actually most productive in the early morning where you were actually less distracted could get more work done and see more progress and i really believe if we find our ideal natural timing to be our most productive self you can get a lot more done with least resistance my second productivity hack is something very simple but i think it's made a huge difference to me and that is to simply have a notepad near your workspace or study space i literally have one here like at all times i have many sticky notes you could use a small notebook notepad pocket notebook does not matter as long as you have a place to write down all your distracting thoughts now let me tell you why such a simple act of keeping your notepad on your table near your workspace or study space is important is because lack of focus is a huge hindrance to your general productivity and the problem with this is that most of us don't consider this to be an actual issue which i beg to differ in that moment you might be thinking oh you know i have to do my laundry after a few minutes you'll be thinking i have to call that friend then your thought moves on to how you forgot to wash your hair and you need to do it today and then you suddenly remember you have to send an email now these thoughts individually are not very stressful but because they are threaded in this distracting pattern in your head while you are actually involved in an important task at hand the smaller tasks pile up in your brain until you get stressed out over time you might burn out so imagine like a small act of keeping a notepad here any time a tiny distracting thought comes to your brain while you're working you can immediately jot it down in your notepad and that sends a signal to your brain that dude it's fine you have it on your notepad you need not go over it again and again it is safe for you to bring your focus back on the task at hand if you haven't done this step yet i really suggest you try doing so from the next year onwards and see over time how much it helps you be more focused hence be more productive the next productivity hack is to wake up earlier again i know this seems quite obvious but hear me out for a sec most of these hacks sound dumb even coming out of my mouth at the moment i make the video but on the last scale it just adds up and it makes sense so i hope you understand why i'm trying to touch these simple basic things which is why i call them hacks that are really simple to apply but most people don't tend to so coming back to this hack which is wake up earlier i feel this hack is perfect for those of you who feel you have no time in your day to get that extra half an hour of reading to get that extra time to work on your business just whatever you feel that you haven't been able to crunch in your busy schedule is going to really make a difference so whatever time you are right now waking up at let's say you're waking up at 7 am for starters why not try waking up 15 minutes earlier than 7 so that is 6:45 am or the middle ground which would be half an hour ideally one hour earlier but of course you don't want to simply jump a uh, one hour early and wake up that time because then your body clock is not going to listen to you and you just feel like sleeping in i did do a video on morning waking up hacks uh, i will link it up here in case you want to watch it you'll find a lot of helpful tips in that video but yeah this is not a uh, talking about any particular time it's just simply waking up 15 minutes to half an hour earlier than you usually do of course when i say that i also mean you need to sleep half an hour 15 minutes earlier you don't want to get lesser hours of sleep so now you have that extra 15 minutes or half an hour in the beginning of your day you will be surprised how much you can work on your side hustle in those quiet 30 minutes of your early morning and at that moment it might just seem like 
like you finish doing 1% of it but when you do this consistently these 30 minutes every day turn into hundreds of hours over months and imagine that impact on your side hustle or anything else that you're working on so yeah it's just a shift in perspective but I feel it is so so effective even for me it has impacted my life on so many levels try it out do it consistently for a month and you will see a huge difference in your productivity game my next productivity hack is to say no. The more we say no to unnecessary tasks that are piling onto you, you will be maximizing your productivity in other areas of your life which are important to you. You need to understand your principles, your values, your goals, your dreams, your vision to understand what things are important to say yes to and what things you can get away with. You need not say yes to every person that's inviting you for a party or say yes to every client or say yes to every movie night your friends are planning. You need to find the right balance for you and learn the art of saying no. I believe there is a book like that. I'm forgetting it right now but I'm pretty sure there are books that talk about the art of saying no because it is an art. It is not something that comes easily. It's something that you need to develop over time. When I began YouTube, when I was dancing professionally, there was just so much on my plate. I would be burnt out, overstressed. It was just a terrible time because I simply did not know how to say no to people. Kept saying yes to every appointment, every performance, every video, everything. And it eventually leads to you being burnt out which no one wants right but over the course of years every time I've said no I'm sort of exercising that no muscle of mine and right now I feel strong in that sense where I know my priorities and if someone even if it's you know your friend anyone you can refuse and say no in a kind manner I'm sure they will understand but even if not you need to keep yourself first in this regard and make sure you are leading a balanced life because that's what's going to make you the most productive most effective and all that good stuff so yeah next time you find a client and you have this immediate urge to say yes take a moment look at your schedule look at your life your goals and know that you have the option to say no most people just believe they don't have a choice in any of these matters and they just have to say yes well I'm here to say you do have a choice it is your life and you get to decide what you want to include in this life how fulfilling this life should be for you and that means you have to say no here and there so be it now my last productivity hack might sound counterproductive but I swear to god it's not and that is to make time for you you need to understand when you have to switch off from work especially this is I feel very true in this remote time that we are living where most of us are working from home or if you're like me you're self-employed you're leading a life of a freelancer an entrepreneur where boundaries are very thin and faded you need to hear this from me you need a break and because you don't set strong boundaries you tend to find it hard to unplug from your work and I completely get that because I also live that lifestyle and this is an actual issue like there was a survey done where people were asked what's the biggest struggle of working remotely and the majority of people said unplugging up after work. Some of us don't really recognize this as an issue which might be a problem by itself so I just want to shed light on this where I want to let you all know that it is important to take that rest after your work, close your laptops, close whatever you have to to step away from work. No matter how hectic your work life might be you have to take breaks in between or at the end of the day depending on the nature of your work. I've started doing this for my weekends. I'm a full-time YouTuber so for me every day is work because uh, if I'm vlogging then you know there's no break really you're vlogging your entire day and being a content creator you're also super active on Instagram so that's like daily stories you're also posting and interacting with everyone every single day so all in all it just becomes like I'm working every single day of my life and I don't want to live my life like that for sure so come 2022 I took a decision of giving myself complete breaks on Saturdays and Sundays and let me tell you it's made a huge huge difference on my mental health I cannot stress this in Enough. try taking breaks whenever you can and just shut off from work Tell me from the previous point learn how to say no so yes please give yourself the cognitive and physical break that you need whether that's in the form of meditation yoga relaxing playing with your pet having a cup of coffee just make sure you're taking care of yourself in the midst of all this productivity because I really feel there's no point in doing all of this if you're not taking care of yourself so I hope you do that and yeah with that we come to an end of this particular video as I said if you did enjoy it please do leave a big thumbs up up. And if you want to be part of this warm community of 66,000 Meg fam, then all you need to do is hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I will see you in my next video. Till then, stay happy, positive, blessed, be productive, but most importantly, be kind to yourself. Bye!